Thank you. Have a nice. Really, really great. So, now you know what VR is. Uh, I, well, you're here, I mean, but we have to go and make it now. So, we invited you all to have a, can I? Oh. I have a little presentation. You think oh, another old guy, Tom Van Ness was here. Actually, he invented the stuff that uh, Magic, uh, that Magic Leap is using now, projecting laser into right into retina. That will be the next step after the HMDs, after the headsets. Then you get it projected into your eye directly in stereo field. What we're going to do now is, you're here to hack. I hope you come make VR. Uh, this guy is making VR. We are, we're not expecting you to make the void, but we are expecting you to explore what you can do making VR. And we have three award categories. We keep it very simple. Um, the best overall, that's simple. I mean, we want to see some uh, uh, serious VR, and um, there will be a pitch later. And of course, well, your, uh, th there will be designers, graphic designers. You will to make it it's very good looking. So the best looking VR experience will have a prize also. But of course, this is not because of the prizes. This is because of what you are going to make. We also have coaches for you. And um, but first, uh, I want to ask you uh, if you are joining this hackathon. Do you have an idea? Who is going to join the hackathon? Who is going to join the hacker with us? Please raise your hands. That's not enough. Where are you? We need more. And bring your friends. You do. Okay, you come for a pitch. That's also good. And uh, who of you have ideas to make this one? One, two, three. You don't have to pass. You don't have to uh, work. So you can also challenge the, hack the hackers to make something. And of course, best overall and good looking must be all. Every everything must be good looking. So they can win prizes. It doesn't matter what you pitch them. What you ask them to make. Uh, the we are here together to make a VR experience. You have 48 hours. Avanash has taken three quarters. I won't take that last quarter from you. Um, uh, well. Uh, uh, I need a line up here for the guys and girls who are going to pitch. Uh, please. Uh, you have five minutes for each pitch. Uh, and then you have to find gear. We brought some gear. We brought some coaches. And we have uh, set up a Slack for you. EO Vakaton. There you can communicate with each other and you can communicate with. Uh, uh, with the coaches and with the organization if you need help there are some channels you can make your own channel just try it out slack is very easy um, and now I hope my yeah this is a timetable it doesn't look right okay we start we, we are already started tonight in that workshop room, uh, room there will be a t a three workshops for those, you are already hacking, but y um, there are a lot of people who don't uh, have that not much experience. So there will be a, a workshop about Unreal, a workshop about Unity, and there will be a workshop about WebVR. You can s uh, send a part of your team, so they know a bit more. Uh, they, have they know the resources, they, they uh, can tell you where you can look to where find the stuff you need to make it work. Um, Friday, that's an easy day, then I'm gonna rest, I have a tent over there then I can sleep and no nothing to facilitate anymore you, you just hack and if the phone rings okay maybe I'll be there and but I have a whole team here so and and then um, Saturday exactly at one o'clock you have to stop well maybe you have to stop but then the judges are coming by and uh, so we are expect you to have it demonstrable to have it to, to be showed uh, look around uh, you have to look around for gear make it your best the judges are coming and then uh, at five o'clock in the afternoon uh, we have the presentation of the results my picture okay that's nice yes and um, then the judges will uh, take an hour to um, to make out the best to do to for the awards, and then uh, in 1800 hours, Tom Furness, you saw him in the beginning, he will be uh, in a live presentation. Um, uh, that and then um, after half an hour, 
uh, Vincent Evers will take over and we actually uh, do the award ceremony and give you the prizes and uh, have a fun time. And then, of course, uh, from 8 o'clock, it's party time for a campus party. We have a big party and uh, I hope you're happy with the results and uh, you can still can have a lot of fun uh, the last evening of the campus party. So, may I have the first pitch? Uh, stand in line. Stand, just stand in line if you want to pitch. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm here on behalf of the Institute of Sound and Vision in the Netherlands. Wow, everybody's awake now? <laughs> I'm here on behalf of the Institute of Sound and Vision in the Netherlands, Bild en Geluid in Dutch. Uh, Sound and Vision is a museum, but it's also one of the largest databases in, uh, in Europe. It actually stores all the historic data that has ever been made in the Netherlands on TV and radio. And what I want to like to do is, um, uh, right now they are missing people like you in their museum, because it's very attractive for youngsters, for people like four to 12 years old. It's also very interesting for parents and grandparents, but at the moment it's not very interesting for guys and girls like you. So what they want to do is they want to go out and meet you guys and girls, for example, on festivals like we heard before. And what, way, what they want to create is a double experience, an augmented reality app combined with a VR experience. And let me explain that a little. What I would like to do is an augmented reality app that creates, that presents an avatar on your phone and that guides you through the festival. This avatar guides you to interesting uh, performances or to the WC or to a to a drinking place, etc. But it also creates a possibility to show how uh, the festival was the year before, or maybe even 40 years before, because the Institute of Sound and Vision has all these data of yeah, all the past decades of all kinds of uh, music um, uh, festivals. So you can use that historic data in this augmented reality app. In the end, the avatar can also guide you through the festival terrain and guide you to a big truck of the Institute of Sound and Vision. And inside the truck, you can also create or experience a VR uh, experience. Right there, you can see how it was in, no problem. Right there, you can experience, for example, how the festival was in the 60s when the Rolling Stones performed there or in the 70s. So that's the combination, the VR experience historic materials and augmented reality app. Thank you. Next one, please. Thank you. Fabian. Thank you. Hello. Okay, you can uh, hear. Two minutes. two minutes, okay, no problem. Uh, so, I'm Fabian. Um, what I want to do is, how many of you actually made, build anything for VR? Like show of hands. Okay, so I've, it's like five or six. So that's not enough. How many of you have already been to a Fab Lab or Hackerspace to make something like laser cutting, 3D printing? Even less, like three, four. And again, I think both of those are really amazing opportunities, very low cost to entry, like you have phone, you can do it. Uh, you don't have um, a Google Core board or something, you can make it, you can laser cut it, you can do all this. But it's a little bit scary. Lots of tools uh, for the Hackerspace physical tools, for VR, all the assets and all this. So what I want to do is a virtual lab. You have all the different machines you have in your fab lab. You, you go to your local fab lab, they have a wiki. You transform that wiki to a virtual reality space. You learn all the tools, you write down your notes. Eventually you have a coach on your side in VR that say, oh, you should do this, you should do that. You record it, you come back to it. So before you laser cut your own fingers or you somehow mess up your first VR demo, you can do it in VR. So, for example, if you imagine the in-VR VR education, uh, you go, you have a, a little, in your, uh, in your VR demo, you go, you have a little panel that says this is the function that makes an animation. You look at it, it animates it, and you see a sphere uh, moving around. You look away, the code is deactivated, and that's it. So, that's the idea. Oh, hey, VR, pretty cool. Um, I'm just looking forward to gaming in VR, pretty much. 
So I've got an idea in which you use uh, first-person shooter mechanics with uh, chess play. So everybody who is inside virtual reality will be uh, its own chess piece. Uh, different guns will have different abilities. And you will move towards the opposite side of the chess board and try to win in that way. Um, I guess the prototype will be pretty easy to make. Uh, definitely possible in 48 hours. And uh, I've got a vibe with me, so we have a lot of uh, opportunities to try things out. And uh, that's my idea. Next one, B3, you were also on the stage. We have only a short moment. Where's B3? Join the line, please. Uh, hello. Uh, my idea is just a bit last minute, uh, like two hours ago. Uh, but I was thinking, like, uh, what can you do in VR? And, uh, well, I was also thinking, like, uh, panda bears are really cool animals. So it would be cool to have your own panda bear at home, but that's illegal. So why don't we make a virtual panda bear and have him at home? That's the idea, but that's that's all. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. So hi, everybody. Uh, two things. First, uh, I come to do a, pro um, a project in the air where I can show the event uh, r uh, in 360 in the Gear VR, Carbon, and stuff like this. But mainly, I wanted to say, uh, everybody in the crowd, uh, everybody here, um, a game jam, a hackathon, you need uh, little skills. You don't need to be a huge expert. So if some of you have uh, skills in sound, in 2D, or even uh, looking on the web for the good information, it's something very, very useful. So you are all students, I suppose. Uh, so if you want to, to experiment what is an hackathon, come and speak to us and do the, the, um, the, get the hackathon with us. We don't need experts, we just need people that want to have a good time and see what it is in VR. So, here. And uh, thank, you. thank you. Well, B3, where are you? We have a long lo one last pitch. B3 Foundation, please. They've gone with Evan Ash, I think. Hello, B3. We need the last uh, pitch. Okay, well, I think uh, they, uh, what we do is uh, we have the pitch, um, uh, we have go, uh, we're going to listen to their pitch uh, when they are uh, at their own booth. So that also will be the central point for this hackathon. Uh, of course, we're back on uh, Saturday on this uh, same stage or maybe even the main stage, we don't know yet, but uh, that's for the presentation. Uh, you have to, we can, uh, you can make your own space uh, on the tables, uh, what you want, you can hack uh, outside, just to look around. Go to the other Campus Heroes. You see 360 cameras, you see uh, vibes, you see uh, all kinds of stuff. If you can use it, ask them, ask them to help. I mean, this is a kind of startup. You're not isolated in a weekend in one building. There are thousands, more than 2,000 people around you who can also help, maybe, and have stuff with them. And uh, we will hear the pitch from uh, B3 in their own stand. That is right across the entrance of the arena. You have seen him. Uh, you can throw uh, bl blue balls there. And uh, that will be the central point. And the nice thing is uh, uh, they uh, deliver uh, five developers. They don't hack themselves. They just help you. And they will be around, uh, around the clock. They sleep here. They will be doing their work if you need them. So please. Oh, my slide is gone. Um, uh, join us to the boot of B3, of B3 and we uh, uh, enlist you in the Slack and, and take your names and then we're gonna, we are going to hack. Thank you very much.